You'll see behind me we have a number of members of both the House and Senate. I'd like to personally thank them for coming out, supporting this industry here today. A number of members of other business and trade groups who are here to show their support for this. And a number of people, as you can see, who are directly employed and who benefit from the natural gas side. One of the members of the legislature was here, and we've had the, the, the great privilege of attending a number of meetings in which Speaker Torzai has been. He has been a tireless advocate for this industry, for smart policies for this industry. And Speaker Torzai, I would like to say a few words here to all of you this morning. Speaker. Folks, here's the thing. I, I feel like over the last couple of years, like we've been apologetic about the development of natural gas in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Why are we being apologetic? This is the greatest thing for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on so many fronts. Private sector jobs paying significant dollars to families to be able to, to, to raise your family in a great community. I mean, that's unbelievable. And energy independence? Who doesn't want energy independence? My goodness, the development of natural gas is a win, 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 and we have to have an energy policy that is focused on continuing to be able to develop Marcellus and Utica and to be able to increase demand so that we can put uses in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to create other jobs. I want to just give you a few stories. We were just, I was just down with Steve Barrar and uh, Senator McGarrigal and others down at the Marcus Hook Refinery, right on the Delaware River. You know, there used to be a pipeline that took Nigerian crude oil at Marcus Hook at a very expensive price and piped that out to the Pittsburgh area to disseminate. Guess what? Sunoco Logistics, Range Resources, reverse that pipeline, they're taking natural gas and the liquids that attach to it, they're piping it to Marcus Hook for new jobs, and guess what, they're separating out the liquid gases, and what they'd love to see in that brownfield to get more jobs is to be able to bring in petrochemical, manufacturing, plastics, all at great wages, by the way, union jobs, by and large, great wages, and to be able to break down those liquids like ethane and butane and break them down and create all these products, family-sustaining jobs. We were just over, we were just over um, here in uh, Steelton, Pennsylvania, at Dorbond. They added an entire new shift, an entire new shift to make pipes based on the development of Marcella Shale. 150 new jobs and a third shift. We've been doing these summits all over. Listen to this one, Masters Concrete, up in the Northeast. By 2013, their sales were 115% higher than 2009. And that was completely due to the development of Marcella Shale. This gentleman who owned Masters Concrete, Bob Hosell, said, look, I was laying off people and decreasing wages. Without the development of Marcella Shale, I might have been out of business. He added new jobs and raised wages. Adam Diaz, also up there, went from 30 employees, barely, barely struggling. Marcellus comes along, he's up to 250 people. We went down to Lancaster County. We're two engineering in Lancaster County. Said that in 2009, they had about 190 employees because of Quote, while nothing else was going on in the economy, we grew to 400 employees by 2013 because of the growth in Marcellus oil and gas. Folks, they added 75 vehicles purchased from local dealers in 15 months, and they put, they put up a $3.5 million building. Family sustaining jobs. Energy independence. Those are just some of the few stories. Now, we can take a punitive approach and have a de facto moratorium like New York does, or we can focus on these great people, these great people who are using their capabilities and putting together jobs, 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 family-sustaining jobs, and allowing our state and our country to be energy independent. That's a win. Folks, 
the team that's here with you today, we get the message, and we are so proud to stand with you today. Each and every one of you, thank you for being here today.